Morning traders, this is Brian again. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Fibonacci. I'm going to try and break it down in steps. We're going to keep it very simple for, I guess you could call it this lesson. We're not going to involve any numbers, so you can ignore the fact that Fibonacci has numbers for this. We're going to look at two different, uh, I guess you could call setups. One would be called what I refer to as a one-sided Fibonacci. And the other one would be your classic Fibonacci with a retrace, which is more the one you're looking for. A one-sided Fibonacci is not very reliable, but I want to show the two just so you can see the difference. So let's get to it. What we're going to do is I'm going to cover the one-sided Fibonacci. Again, this isn't really the setup you're looking for, but that way you can understand what you're looking for and what you're not. A one-sided Fibonacci, and again, we're not going to go into numbers or anything. I'm just going to show you patterns today of what you look for is when price goes down and then price goes back up. Okay, so what makes this a one-sided Fibonacci? Price went down, price came back up. Price coming back up, as you can see, is larger than price going down. Now I'm gonna put candlesticks and everything in it later so you can see what I'm talking about. But basically a one-sided Fibonacci means that we didn't get a retracement. I'm gonna cover retracement here next but for now you're looking at a V. <laughs> Quite plain and simply it's a V. A lopsided V. Whenever the right hand side is larger than the left it's not a valid retrace, so we're looking at a one-sided Fibonacci. It can work the same if price goes up and then price comes back down. And now price came back down l more than price went up. So we now have a one-sided Fibonacci again, upside down V. Pretty simple. We're not going to get into levels or anything like that. I just want you to be able to identify the patterns. We're going to go to a chart in a little bit, and we'll see if I can show you some one-sided and some classic retrace Fibonaccis. So the next step, we now know that there's one-sided Fibonaccis aren't very reliable. You just want to be able to identify them. If you can identify this, then you'll be able to identify a proper Fibonacci. So let's just uh, make this blank again. New, no, don't save. Okay, so let's get into what a classic Fibonacci retrace looks for. And this is what you're looking for when you're trading with Fibonacci levels. So let's see, we got green, got my line, make sure it's nice and thin. Okay, so classic Fibonacci. Price is going to go up. Price is going to come down. Let's stop here and take a look at that. The difference between this and a one-sided Fibonacci is that the second leg did not come down lower than your first. So the red bar, the red line did not come lower than the green line. So now what's price going to do? Price then, oops, let me fix that, control Z. Let me do the red line again. Okay, so price came up. Price came down, do it a little bit lower this time. Still didn't go lower than the original move we're looking at. So let's get another little line on there. Now price comes back up. Okay, so what we have now would be called, I guess you'd call it A, B, C, D pattern. Again, no numbers or anything, we're not going to worry about it. So we have A, B, C, and D. <coughs> What's this mean for you? A is 0, B is 100. Uh, we'll get into the exact numbers, but just a little bit of numbers so you can understand. That's the original, the, the first leg of your Fibonacci. So now we're looking to see if, if from B to C, if it's going to move into a one-sided or if it's going to have a retrace is what we're really looking for. So A to B, price comes down to C. C is not lower than A. So we have a good retrace. Now price is going to move up to D. Again, no numbers or anything. We just want to understand this pattern. For it to be a valid Fibonacci retrace, A to B, that's your first leg. Your second leg is B to C. For it to be a valid Fibonacci retrace, C cannot go any lower than A. Once we have C and price starts moving back up, then we're looking at a valid Fibonacci retrace. Let's go ahead and do it the opposite direction. New. 
Hey, so again, price is, let's see, I went up on that one, so I'm going to go price comes, yeah, that would work if I did it right, and pick out the line. Okay, red, good, price comes down. And then price comes up. Looks good to me. And then we're going to say price comes back down. So again, let's label it. We have A, B, C, D. First leg, A to B doesn't really matter we just need to know it's the first leg second leg that's our important one do we have a one-sided Fibonacci or do we have a retrace which is the one you're looking for again so B to C C is here did C go higher than a no it did not and then it retraced back down so we got a proper Fibonacci retracement set up let's go ahead and let's take a look at some charts real quick Okay, so might be a little confusing for you. What we're going to focus on here is what's called the zigzag pattern you can see here. This white dotted line. Okay, so we have, if we go back, we have a price movement up, price movement down. So what do we have forming here? Depending on where price goes, we might have a valid retracement. We would have... A, and we have B, oops, let me recolor that, sorry about that, okay, so there's B, Let's make it nice and big this time. 20, and we'll go with yellow again. And we also have... I cannot move anything that's good enough for me. You'll get the idea. Down here, possibly, we have C. So A, B, C. And what are we looking for next, then? we would be looking for D to form, which would possibly head up that way, which would turn into a valid Fibonacci retrace. Let's go to a different chart and take a look at that. So right here, this one's kind of tricky. We have A, price moves down, and again, we're just using the zigzag tool that's just standard with MT4 to take a look at these. B up here. Now, if we not too sure what we got, didn't touch the blue bar, so we do have a valid C. And down here is going to be D. No numbers today. Let's keep it simple. Just need to be able to identify the pattern. So we have A, B, C, D. This was valid because A to B is here. <coughs> B to C. C did not go higher than A by our little aqua line that's here. So C was a valid retrace and price is going to move back down. Let's take a look at a couple more, see if we can find some one sideds. Uh, as this one's standing, let's take a look at it. This would be a one-sided. We got actually it's not a one-sided, but if we look right here, price goes A, B, C, D. So we still have a good one there. So again, we have. A, B, I'm 
all over the place with my mouse today. C. And this would be our D leg forming down here. A to B first leg, B to C. C did not go higher than A, not even close. So moving down would be D. Let's see if we can find. So far, everything's looking like. Okay, so now we have a one sided V. If we look back, if you follow the V back, nowhere in here do we get it. This is our last valid Fibonacci pattern. Here's A, B, C, D. Now, if we look at this, we have what's formed now. If we put this A, B, C drop below, so let's start again. A, B, C is above. So we have no valid Fibonacci formations here. We just have one-sided Fibonacci's forming. That pretty much sums it up. Again, I don't want to really get it too much into the numbers or anything. We just wanted to take a look at what the two types of Fibonacci patterns you're going to get are. Is the one-sided, which we see here, or the one we're really shooting for is a valid Fibonacci retrace to give you some much higher probability setups. Hope this helps. We'll get into numbers and everything, maybe tomorrow, but for today, just focus on the patterns. Uh, what you can do for the zigzag, just so you know, it's in your custom indicators folder. What I do is I drag it on. The settings I use are 5, 3, 1. When you hit OK, you'll get, <coughs> sorry about the cough, you'll get the nice little zigzag pattern on here take a look start noticing the zigzag pattern see if you can identify one-sided Fibonacci's or if you can identify some Fibonacci retracements hope you enjoyed the video and we'll get into some numbers tomorrow